obviously a big issue because like we have people contributing uh, to the program here but then not uh, being able to show up so that's unfortunate but yeah so thanks to everyone uh, involved in the organization of this event and also thanks big thanks to the program committee who were involved in reviewing all of the papers i'm not going to read all of the names but uh, i'm going to highlight one name kunhao he's actually the uh, master of zoom also today so cheers kunhao um let me just briefly tell you a little bit about the motivation for this workshop so what we've seen over the last decade or so is like a big advance in computer vision performance right so we have image net performance at 90 plus percent we have segmentation performance 90 plus we can do panoptic segmentation in very high detail we can do 3d estimation from 2d images in like superhuman uh, level so down to whatever i think by now it's four centimeters or something like this in absolute 3d error and we can do we can really ask very complex questions to vision models like look at this image and what is the material that the vessel is made of right so you need to locate the vessel you need to know what a vessel is you need to locate it you need to find out what are the material properties how do i disentangle this from the illumination things like this to get then to the answer which is copper and current vision vqa models can actually do these things right so there was a lot of progress over the past decade in vision and we are all very happy about this but of course, there are also many open problems. And I'm going to list a few here, but there are of course many more, right? So one is that we actually need to train from a lot of data, mostly annotated data, which is a big issue still. Uh, then even models that are trained from a lot of data do not generalize well when there are natural variations at test time, right? So you train on some data set, but then at test time you realize, oh, the context changed or the shape or the appearance of the, of the model and suddenly your algorithm breaks. Right, that's a big issue. Also, we have still the vulnerability to adversarial attacks. You probably know uh, perturbation-based attacks. They might not be too practically relevant, but they are actually also practically relevant adversarial attacks, as you can see over there, that actually hurt models. Right, So that's still an open issue. We have also unexpected failures in vision models. So you deploy your vision model in the real world, and then uh, just to find out that it it works very well most of the time, but sometimes it just fails horribly. And you can see this, uh, for uh, for example, uh, when you Google uh, Tesla failures, and you will find like hundreds of videos where Tesla cars make really unexpected failures. Like for example, when people put these puppets on the street, uh, sometimes the Tesla car just to, uh, drives over it seamlessly. Yeah. So, and we cannot predict these failures. That's a big issue. And that's kind of also uh, connected to the problem of a lack of explainability, this black box nature of these models, right? And there are many more problems. So that's kind of the starting point of this uh, workshop. And uh, the question in the middle, like at the center of this workshop is, can actually generative models help us to resolve some of those issues? Uh, so we've seen lots of progress in generative models, right? Like in classic generative models or like, ancient generative models almost like get hoodie gans of course nerves uh, models that combine nerve and gans into 3d 3d wire gans uh, we have latent diffusion like image diffusion models we have we can generate videos from text we can generate 3d assets from text all of these advances happened like over the last few years and kind of raised the question of you know, can this help computer vision and i think actually it's not a question of can this help but really, if it can help, uh, like how can it help? Not if it can help, but how can it help, right? So that's at the center of this workshop. On the one hand, we have generative models. They create pre very pretty and uh, really impressive pictures. And on the other hand, we have really classic computer vision tasks, classification, detection, segmentation. And we're going to ask, what is the relation between these two realms? And we're going to ask 10, world-class experts about this and they are going to present a few talks uh, uh, this uh, this morning and in the afternoon and they're going to actually also answer questions from us in panel discussions so the schedule uh, brief schedule is here we're going to have three talks in the morning alan andrew and uh, bjorn talking then we'll have a 15 minutes coffee break very short coffee break we'll have andrea and gordon 
uh, talk about their work. And then we're going to have to host a panel discussion here from 11.30 to 12. And afterwards, we're going to go into the lunch break. And in the afternoon, we're going to start at 12. So 45 minutes later, we're going to start a poster session. For those who will present posters, be aware that the poster session is in the West building. So that's the other building. And we are going to have six numbers, 39 to 77. So these are our poster numbers. First come, first serve, just walk over and hang your poster up over there. Also importantly, hang your poster up like somewhere after 12 and take it down directly after the poster session because these will be these poster boards will be reused by others later today. And unfortunately, also as I mentioned already earlier, some authors couldn't come today because of visa issues and those posters we've actually put on our website. So if you're interested in the posters of uh, presenters who couldn't come in person, just check out the website. And then we're going to finish, finish the afternoon session with uh, three more talks from Angela, Philip, and Vincent. We're going to have a uh, half an hour coffee break, have Christian and Shubham talk, and finally have a panel discussion um, with some of the speakers who are on site. Not all of the speakers will be on site, unfortunately, today, but uh, I think uh, seven out of 10 will be on site. The others will talk live remotely, so you can ask questions. Good. Okay, so that's the plan for today. And we are going to start our session today with uh, Alan Yule.